Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. There is no Hunter today. No, uh, in fact, there isn't. But there is a Corsair. Check it out. Yeah, oh yeah. It's a nice plane. I literally just unlocked it, like, seconds ago. Um, well, um, like, a few minutes ago. But uh, this is a brand new plane to me. Uh, really good looking. I love the Corsairs. I really love how they look. Um, I already put my decals on it. But today, I wanted to do something special. And it's just me. I wanted to do a learn with me kind of video so uh it might be labeled a how to fly i don't know what i'm gonna call it but essentially i'm gonna learn how to fly this thing right now because i just unlocked it just bought it uh and you're gonna learn with me by watching this video uh so first things first we're gonna take a look at this this menu here this is always helpful so max speed that's great that's a pretty good max speed for like what i play at uh the armament i love 20 millimeter cannons means we're going to be great in head on heads, in my opinion. Um, so, like, frontal combat, all me. That's great. Love it. Uh, let's see. Great. I'll never reach the max altitude. I don't know who does. Turn time, I think that's low. Rate of climb, I hope that's not low. Cool. Let's double check. I was just playing with this guy. He has a terrible rate of climb. Oh. Oh, how terrible. What's his rate of climb? Oh, dude. Man, okay, so... We're looking at a really bad rate of climb. Uh, so let's get into this. We're going to be playing realistic. We're looking at a really low rate of climb. Which means uh, that I can't climb high very fast. Which means that I like to... When that, when I, that happens, I like to circle a lot. Uh, I'll show you exactly what I mean here in like 5 seconds. Uh, 18 to be exact. But... Um, that way I can get higher, uh, without, and actually compete with people, because height is a huge advantage in planes. Um, I used to try and go low when playing planes. I don't play planes as much. I know I've recorded tanks before, so, uh, but I don't play planes as much. I am so excited for this plane, though. I love the Corsairs. They're just beautiful planes. I've got a Kobe set right next to me. I pick it up, but it's super wonky. This doesn't look like too bad of a climb. Whoa, I have rear view mirrors? Oh my god. Oh, now this is a good plane. Okay, so what we're going to do right off rip, we're going to do this. Okay, now i got to find my climb rate. Come on, please tell me I have a climb rate. Well, climb. We're at two and a half. Three? Three. My gaining speed? Yeah. Not very much, though. I think 2 is a good climb rate. It's what I used on that other plane. A lot. I'd use 2. Wow, dude. I have such a huge dashboard. What is this? This is crazy. Rear view mirrors, dude. What the? That is so awesome. Oh, my God. Huh. I was just playing with the F6F. It's a beefy plane. It's a good plane, honestly. I don't know. People hate on it, but I loved it. But I'm still not climbing at the right rate. Oh, I need to turn. Oops. I'm enjoying the plane too much. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow, I dived a lot. Okay. Oh, we're already climbing pretty well. Oh, there comes the heat. That's not where my heat is. That's where it was on the other plane. Oil temperature, I'm doing okay. I got, I got a second before I need to calm down with the heat. Let's switch, I wanna take a look at the outside of the plane. That's nice. Okay, we gotta turn, because I missed my turn. The best way for me, so just teaching you guys how to fly again, the best way I found to actually maintain, like early game, to actually maintain, instead of sitting here and watching the little thingies in the corner over there and being like, oh, my speed is increasing, I just go use the dials. They're so useful. They're, they're literally like, it's. I feel like I'm cheating sometimes. These dials are more useful than that one, sometimes. Uh, except for airspeed. Speed is, I read my speed over there. But climb right there that's actually telling me whether or not I'm climbing like this is this I when I'm flying I normally try and fly like this just so I can know so I like okay oh I'm all confused oh am I climbing or not yes I'm climbing and at a good rate uh, but I'm gonna drop because my oil's getting a bit hot so we're gonna actually drop down to about one and a half 
Uh, this is just what I did with the F6F. I flew the F6F a lot to unlock this plane. Uh, and this is what I do. It's just I, this is what I do every time I every time I battle. I just that's what I do. It works. Uh, it works well enough for me. So we're gonna see if it works with the Corsair too. I'm already pretty high up, so I mean it's looking up. <clears throat> oh, what a beautiful plane though, and oh, what a beautiful cockpit, dude. What an amazing plane! Wow. Um, climb is good. I'm climbing a bit more than I thought I was. Huh, okay. Well, my airspeed is increasing, so I'm gonna maintain my current climb, I guess. That's nice. That's that's a better climb then. But it's not very fast, so I do like to do the uh, 1. 1 1.5 just to gain a lot more speed. But you know what we're gonna do instead? We're gonna... We're just gonna do this. We're gonna gain a bunch of altitude uh, at the cost of speed, which might not be smart, but I don't claim to be smart. Uh, the downside to this strat is that most people die <laughs> by the time I get to the battlefield. So next flight, uh, I plan on doing maybe one to two videos with this. One to two battles. Next flight, we'll try just going straight into combat and see what happens. But this time around, I definitely want to climb first. Our victory is near. Maybe I took too long. Should I dive bomb this guy? Is he climbing up to me? Yes, he is. Okay, cool. Time to go. Let's do it, bro. Let's do it. Come on. Oh, he wasn't climbing up to me. Okay. Well, I'm going down to him. Right about here. Yeah, right about here. That was okay. Uh, I bonked him. A solid bonk. And now I'm about to pass out. Where is he? Okay, he's turning already. I gotta go faster. Oh, god dang it. Alright, see, that's what happens. I suck. Oh, that was a different plane? Oh, that checked out. Alright. I was too distracted. So just recap. So learning with me, right? You're learning with me. <laughs> I was too distracted by the awesomeness of the plane um, and climbed for too long. Challenged him incorrectly. I should have known that he was going to go beneath me and should have done a full turnaround when dive bombing him. That's something I need to work on is I always dive bomb. You don't dive bomb at the target. You dive bomb at where they're going to be when you reach them. So that was another mistake I made. And then I don't think I need to do, I did way too much, but I don't think I need to climb. I think the the slight difference in climb rate between this and the F6F is enough to where I can just fly out. So we're gonna give it a shot right here, see what happens. Um, but honestly, I'm not so sure about that. I don't, I also disagree with that. Because that was a pretty low, most people on that map were pretty low to the ground. I feel like that's not common. Okay, so a little update to my strategy here. I'm still climbing at 3, and I think by going forward, I think it's more important to prioritize climbing than it is speed. By going just by leaving just straight forward off the mat, um, so I've yeah, I've increased my climb, um, and now I'm about to have to decrease it. But I'm not going to decrease it a lot. I'm going to go down to two. Yeah. That way I can constantly maintain a high climb rate and just sacrifice speed at it. Because normally I'll gain speed when I get into the fray of things. Anyway, so. Alrighty, I feel like this guy wants to go. Let's go. Oh my god, alright. This is what most of War Thunder is for me. Plain War Thunder. Planes. Um, that worked though. So I think flying straight is acceptable with the Corsair. F4U, oh, but yeah, f 4 you one seat. Wow, that was a tongue twister. Oh my. This course here, I think it's acceptable to go straight. 
I keep losing these dogfights just because I suck, I think. Okay. Well, uh, next tip, be better than me, and you'll do better. <laughs> Let's keep going. I'm going to try the straight line again, because I think it works. I think I need a 3, a climb rate of 3, uh, while I have 110 uh, engine power, and then a climb rate of 2 when I don't. And then, that way I can maintain a decent climb. I'll sacrifice speed, so if I'm not going very fast by the time I reach there, that's okay. And then, uh, I should be more careful in... 1v1s and be less cocky because even though I do have two 20, four 20 millimeter cannons, it's very clear that that's not enough of an advantage to just win me a dogfight. I also need to be careful. That was insane. He loaded in with 70 minutes of fuel and then. Well, that's him right there. That's a, that's a fire. Yeah, that's 70 minutes of fuel fire. See, the difference between me climbing over at the airport, like what I did the first time, and the difference between that and what I've done now, is now I'm closer to combat, faster. I'm in this swarm of enemy planes where it's almost hard to pick out a target. Um, so honestly, I think that, even though I've done it twice now, I think that climbing... Oh, wyvern. Uh, climbing at the airport is the strat. I think it is a better strat. I do not want to challenge that Spitfire. Alright, down we go. Let's hit it. Let's take out this Do 35, get our revenge. Wow, I suck. Alright, okay, cool. So I think the problem <laughs> I'm encountering now, we're gonna end it here. Sorry guys, I know I didn't even get a kill. But, so then the next thing that I can teach to you from this, and I think we've learned a lot. You can climb, you can climb straight, but I think, you, I think it'll kill you faster. I think way less climb, so like if you spend some time climbing around the airport, I think way less than what I did initially. Um, the bullets fall faster than the F6F suit. So they like fall earlier. I think. That's why I was missing. That's what I'm going to blame it on. Because it definitely wasn't me not paying attention. Yep. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think we've learned a lot. I think that you should climb at the start of the match. I think you should climb up. Because not only does it give time for all that crazy just pile of pilots to die, dwindle down a little, it also gives you uh, a higher, uh, like a higher climb rate when you, a higher altitude when you get out there. You can have a faster speed. Both things I lacked in the second fights. So I think all in all, what we've learned today is that with the F4U 1C Corsair, at least with my playstyle, it's best to climb first uh, at the airport, maybe way less than I did. Climb first hit out there, aim higher than I was because the bullets were dropping off before I could hit my target. Uh, and yeah, and then just maintain, you know, it's always important to maintain altitude on your opponent. Or at least try your best. And always stay behind. There's like scissoring that you can do where you scissor back and forth with the enemy and slow down yourself. There's a lot of tactics. If you want the specific tactics, either comment down below, I'll try and do a video on that, or look them up. There's a lot of great World War II tactics that you can employ in War Thunder that help you win. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.
thank God. That's how you do it, boys. <laughs> I can't believe I got that on video. I, I did, right? I'm a cry Oh my god, I, I, I don't know. Okay, now here's the real tick ticker. When you're recovering like this, there's no one left. So I don't find um, my recovery. 